Oh, beautiful people and how are you? I hope you are doing fine sa mga kabaybahayan niyo dyan. And for today's video, I will be sharing what are the reasons why we should read our entire Bible. Ano nga ba yung mga rason? Bakit natin babasahin yung ating whole Bible, yung entire Bible natin? And why should we read the Bible? Meron akong 10 reasons na i-share sa inyo kung, ba kung bakit natin babasahin yung ating mga Bible. Okay, let's get started with the video. So, let's look at the reasons why should every Christian believer, every true believer of Christ should read and honor the Bible. So, these are the reasons why you should read the entire Bible. So, number one is you can find your real purpose by reading the Bible. So, sa pagbabasa ng Bible, dito mo magkikita yung uh, real purpose mo. So, yung sarili kong bakit. Kano mo buhay kung sa mga masasakit at masasamang pinagdadaanan mo, may purpose si Lord. Because everything has a purpose and you have a purpose kung bakit nabab nabubuhay ka pa. Merong purpose si Lord kung bakit nabubuhay ka pa. I will be reading Ephesians 1 verses 4 to 5. Okay, dito. Even as He shows us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him in love. He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of His will. So, lahat tayo ay may purpose. At sa pangangita ng pagpapasa ng Bible, makikita mo yung purpose mo. So, kahit saan saan mo hinahanap kung bakit kung bakit ano ang purpose na nabubuhay ka dito. Mahanap mo dito yung true purpose ng buhay mo. At ikaw lang makakahanap mo by reading this. So, start reading your Bible right now. So, number two is, the Bible refreshes the soul. Kapag nagbabasa ka ng word ni Lord, parang nirefresh na, nire-renew na yung sarili mo, yung no, you, his grace is new. His blessings is new every morning. Kapag nagbabasa ka, parang um, na-refresh yung soul mo at na-remind ka dahil sa pagbabasa ng word ni Lord. Sharing with you Psalms 19.7 The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testament of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So, nandito, no? Yung word ni Lord is nakaka-revive ng ating soul. So, sa mga gusto magpa-freshen up dyan, magpa-renew, magpa-refresh, magbasa lang tayo ng Bible because His word can refresh your soul, yourself, by reading His Bible. Number three is, the Bible gives life instructions. Diba? Sa ating bahay, mayroong maraming uto si inay at si tatay pero dito, dito natin makikita yung mga life instructions na makaka makakatid sa atin ng good life, better life, and a prosperous life. Dito natin makikita yung mga instructions ni Lord. Dapat pasahin natin yun. Dahil hindi natin yun makikita sa mundo. Dito lang sa book na to. Second, Timothy Chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for, for proof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. So, yung word ni Lord is na nagbibigay sa atin ng instruction, yung teaching, yung correction, training, para tayo, mamuhay tayo ng righteous. So, pangangita na kanyang word is, tinitich tayo ni Lord, nirebit tayo ni Lord, um, tinokorek tayo ni Lord through His word para maging competent and equipped tayo as a man and a woman of God. Ika nga, Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Number four is, the Bible connects us with God. So, sa pangangita ng Bible, nakakakonect tayo ni Lord. Nakakonect tayo ni Lord through prayer and through His Word. Dito natin makikita at nababasa yung mga, yung life ni Lord, yung life ni Jesus, yung mga pinagtadaanan niya, yung mga instructions, at ang raming magagandang stories dito. 
nakaka-connect tayo sa kanya through his word. Dahil kapag pinabasa natin yung word ni Lord, parang sinulat itong book na to para sa akin. Yung ganun, yung ganun feeling. Dahil his word is true. His word is true and his word is alive. Number five is the Bible can transform us. Walang ibang book na makakapag-transform na isang tao kundi ang Bible lang. Kahit maghanap kayo na maghanap, ito lang yung makakatransform ng life ng isang tao. Nakikita niyo naman yung mga sikat ng mga celebrities na ta-transform sila dahil sa book na to, sa Bible. And it can change a person. Kahit gano ka man kasama, gano man kasalimot yung mga nakaraan mo, how bad your past is, God can transform you. God can transform your lives. Kahit gano man karukuk yung puso mo, kung gano ka man namuhay sa mga masalimot at dark na past, God can transform you. Meron ka pang pag-asa. Because God can really transform you. So, number six is, reading the Bible teaches us to imitate God. So, dito makikita natin kung ano yung mga characteristics ni God at we can imitate that because God, because Jesus is our greatest example. And we can imitate His characteristics, His skills at lat lat. Ephesians 5.1 Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. So, if you're a true believer of Christ, if you're a true child of God, imitate His skills, imitate His characteristics, imitate Jesus right now by reading His Word. Number seven is, reading the Bible keeps us from sin. So, sa pagbabasa ng Bible is, meron tayong, cons- uh, meron tayong konsensya na hindi gawin yung mga hindi dapat gawin, yung mga mali. Yung mga hindi makatarungan dahil alam natin na mali. And alam natin na hindi yung ikaka-glorify ni Lord. So, through this book, through this Bible is uh, nare-refrain natin yung paggawa ng mga masasama na hindi nakakapag-glorify ni Lord. Yung mga, yung mga things na unlawful sa kanya. At we're reading Psalms 119 11. Okay. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So, kung yung life natin, kung yung heart and mind natin is puno ng word ni Lord, walang room. Yung sin, walang room. Yung enemy to attack us. Walang room yung sin to tempt us. Because yung life natin is puno ng word ni Lord. So, wala nang pagsiglan yung mga wrongdoings yung mga temptations, yung mga tactics ng enemy, yung mga lies ng enemy. So, punuin natin ang ating sarili sa word ni Lord. Kaya, dapat tayo magbasa. As I always said, dapat tayo magbasa ng word ni Lord. Number eight is, help us to know God's will in our lives. So, sa pagbabasa ng Bible, makikita natin yung ano, kung ano yung will ni Lord para sa atin. Not our will be done, but His will be done dahil meron tayong mga plano yes, it is better plan sa palaga natin, um, yun yung magandang plano, pero yung pinaka best na plan is came from God, at yung mga plano ni Lord para sa atin is best for us, maganda man yung plano natin mas meron pang magandang plano si Lord para sa atin, share in Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you Therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is a spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So, dito makikita natin yung will ni Lord. Thus, this world cannot help us present our lives to be a living sacrifice kay God. Sa, sa panahalita natin, sa kilos natin, at sa pamumuhay natin, dapat nagkikita si Christ sa ating mga buhay. And the last is, reading the Bible gives us courage. Yes, sa pagbabasa ng Bible, bibigyan tayo ng courage. Courage to preach then sa 
gospel to preach, the love of God to preach the good news. Bigyan tayo ng courage na i-fight yung enemy, fight against the enemy, our children of God, and we are courageous man and woman of God. Reading you Joshua 1 verses 8 to 9. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have a good success. Ang ganda ng promise ni Lord dito. If you read His word day and night, you will be prosperous, and you will have good success. Dahil meron, yung, dahil meron tayong mga bad success, pero kay Lord, bibigay niya sa atin yung good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So, wag kayo matakot. Be strong and courageous because God is with you. God will fight for you. God will not abandon you. God will speak to you. Be strong and courageous, man and woman of God. Sabi ito. So, so word. So, lastly is, reading the Bible helps us to be fruitful. So, kung nagbabasa tayo ng Bible, is namumunga tayo. I'll be sharing Psalms 1 verses 2 to 3. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruits in its season, and it leaf and its leaf does not weather in all that he does he prospers well ang ganda ng sinabi ni Lord dito na in everything we does we prospers so dapat tayo magbasa ng Bible because magiging fruitful tayo dito natin makikita lahat lahat talaga so I encourage you to read your Bible today read your Bible right now and you will find your true identity you will find your will your god's will you will find your purpose in lives and it will give you a fruitful life it will give you courage it will refresh your soul it will give you life instructions and it can transform you and connect you to god read your bible right now Thank you for watching and for better kayo natutunan. And always remember that Jesus loves you so much. Bye-bye. God bless. Keep safe.